Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Days Gone, and today we'll be talking to Tucker, doing her side mission, and then doing the main mission, Seeds for the Spring. And then we'll go on from there. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny. Can I help you? Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well... He went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. You're we gonna think hurt he's been taken by a group of way. drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? What a building hell? on the east side of Get town, to the work. old wagon hotel. Hey, yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. Hey, no, 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 I appreciate don't. it. I'm getting to work. Coming into town. He's beating him up again? Every time I come here, one guy's beating up another guy over there. All right, let's look here. Okay, way over there. It's actually quicker just to fast travel here, and then we can get fuel on the way. I say, we've been in this town a few times. I always find it weird how it like uh, spawns us in on that side. It just like really doesn't make sense. But I'm going to get some fuel before we, I guess, like, investigate. So we don't have to do it later. That should be it. Tucker, I'm at the old wagon hotel and I'm heading in. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out. Help! Oh! I'm in here! God damn it! Yep, he's here, alright. I did not mean to hit that door. Oh, oh no. now they know. Note to self holding X will kick the door open. We'll just kill everyone. Oh, he's throwing grenades or pipe bombs. Use this as cover. Is he up above, maybe? Trying to shoot me from, like, down below? Oh, he's right there. Oh, and he hit me. More ammo. Actually, a shotgun would technically be good here. Close range and all that. Hey, Larson. How are you holding up? Hey, John. You know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. Man, he looked like a crack addict. He was all, like, jittery. Surviving isn't living. Got a little achievement. Protecting the weak. And now we can do the main mission here. But first, we have to get back to our bike. And we might as well search these bodies too while we're here. Might have some like explosives on one of them. Oh, a little Molotov never hurt. And let's see, we can fast travel there. All right, we're gonna fast travel here, get fuel, and then do the mission. Tucker's probably gonna call us when we get here. Tucky there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to Hot Springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tucker out. I guess that might be foreshadow. We might be killing some rippers for us, for her, in the near future here. That should be it. And with enough fuel, I think we'll be good to chase this guy because I think it said we need a bike so we're probably gonna have to chase him shoot his bike down and then maybe interrogate him I'm not for sure I'm um, in the wrong side there is a broken bridge over here we might be able to jump 
Ah, oh, god damn it, there's a guy up here. Where's the other one? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. God damn it. There we go. I'm trying to save this guy and, you know, attack the... Weirdly enough, the door wouldn't open. Okay, let me try to find the, the ladder or the stairs. Never mind, wrong way. He's getting, like, beat up. Did he die? Uh oh. What weapon did he have? He had a gun here. An M14. Yep, he died. Son of a bitch. I really thought we were going to be able to save him. Oh well, it happens. I was like, really nothing to cry over. Let's see if we can make this jump. Really worried about this. Uh, nope. Weirdly enough, we died from that. Is it maybe the water was too deep? I'm not for sure. He fell into a puddle. The water, like, barely touched him and he ended up dead. That's usually how it happens. But at least now we can go the correct way. Hit the shit out of that. Yeah, don't mind me, freakers. Only thing is, we're using a shotgun, so I don't know how that's going to work on a bike race if we do have to, you know, hunt them down. But it will do more damage, so I mean, as long as we get up, up like, right up on his butt, we should be good. We're gonna need some better nitro though. Are we smoking? Ah, uh, we might be. We might need to upgrade or not upgrade, but repair. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Okay, let's see. Where's the goodies? Can use this. Let me repair our bike before we uh, it be too get it destroyed even more. Uh, that'll hold. Okay, some medical supplies. Can use this. We don't need the machete. Okay, where's the I'll say something's causing a vibration, maybe on top of the the thing. And we keep on looking here. It kind of looks like it's maybe this bag right here. Or maybe below. Because all I'm seeing are rags. Well, actually, it's kind of a big circle here, so it could be. Maybe like outside of the little shack here. No, I'm pretty sure it's up here. Can't be the rag. Which way? No notification. Ah, you're mine now. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, he's got a little crew with him too. All right, so this is gonna be a little rough. Come on! No, you're not gonna get away. But we should be good. Fuck you, man! You hear me? Holy shit! I just killed someone. Uh, I think we just destroyed a bike. God damn it! Not now. Somehow we did not die there. You can't get away. Let him get away, Deke. Oh, he's gonna get away. Perfect. <laughs> oh, perfect. yep, we're we done. It's because I crashed into the uh, the rock there. But it's pretty cool. We like did a little jump and killed one of the guys. Oh. Wife. 
Oh, come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seeds. Yes, Dig, we good. need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. All right, let's do that. We already know what we need to find. Now the icon's there. What The icon right. was not there earlier. We got a lot of ammo from that. Gotcha. Oh, shit. There he is. Let's get in the bike. Let's see what we can do here. Did some damage to him. Only problem is now we gotta put down two of them. Wow, he took it like a champ. Oh, we crashed. And we died from sliding. I don't know if we ran out of health or what, but they're really... Tearing me up. A lot. Upgrade your bike's engine is a vital part. I mean, oh, we can't really do no. anything Why? else here. Before he ran, he stole two bags of seeds. Sure we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. Maybe we You're can snipe the two other guys. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. All right, let's get this. Like, we might be able to slow him down. Oh, shit. There he is. Okay, well, we killed one of them, which is good. Get in there. Come on. Oh, no, you're not gonna get away. Let's get on our bike. Killing one of them is a lot better than having to deal with a whole bunch of them. We'll kill the, the minion. I'm not coming back. Go to hell. Uh, change people here. Okay. All right, do a little bit more damage. Doing good damage now. He's got buddies. More buddies. Alright, let me catch up. Yeah, we gotta get a little bit closer here. Oh, went the wrong way. Luckily, he's not dropping that Molotov. We got him. Or at least I hope we do. <laughs> I was about to kill that other guy. Third time's a charm. What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Almost two thousand dollars, not bad. Forty percent on bounty hunter. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. All righty. What mission we have now? Back there. Ride north with Ricky. I got a job for you. Can we fast travel? Yes, we can. Do we want to? I don't know how much fuel it's going to take. It might be cheaper lunch, man. to just drive there. So that's what we're going to do. And we might get, you know, called on the radio or whatnot. So you got to be a little stingy in this game. Or you'll end up broke. And we made it to base. Got someone at the gate. Open the gate. I know him. 
Oh yeah, Boozer definitely left the infirmary. I'm be rolling in the day. Beautiful mountains. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back... You come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Schizo's gonna betray him. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than Schizo's. Come on, I'll show you. Like, I'm Mike betting money. Did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah, I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Means a simple transaction, lady. Now, where are we running off to? Are we gonna run all the way to the bikes, get on them, and then like leave somewhere? Cause she's just following me around. Never mind, we're going other places now. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it's shut down. Oh, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can write. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Damn duty. Shit. Be cool if Fine. we can get the power okay. going. Let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, hit me the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. Stone cold. I, I want to see where this dam's at, though. If we get an early though. start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you? I'm pretty sure there's going to be a horde in there. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. 
I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, Q and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. And that's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. We're riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. OK, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. Alrighty, I think they're done talking. You, you, they pretty much talked the whole ride. Alright, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. I'm assuming it's a whole bunch of freakers, but it might be rippers. Oh, well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. I hear freakers. Or uh, newts, I should say. I just feel like this is a perfect place for them to hide during the day because it's so big. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on. I want to check something out. That's pretty neat, though. Okay, let me go. Oh, okay. We can only use a melee weapon, apparently. And there's a whole bunch of police cars here. I can smell the ammo. And there's a new to gotta be careful with them. Them damn children. They'll backstab you. Do we have room for nails? No, we don't. Uh. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. I wonder what's blocking the water. Like a giant pile of bodies. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. 
How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. They big dead. Come on, over here. Oh, well, there, there's a lot of water. Let's figure this out. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait. Oh, oh. Wait, what's go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. I wonder if we ever learn why he's afraid of water or whatever. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Alrighty, you know we're gonna call something, especially when the mission's called, it can't be that easy. Or it couldn't be that easy. You know the vibration's either gonna wake up a whole bunch of freakers, or rippers, and or marauders are like, hmm, what's going on over there? <laughs> One or the other, but something bad is bound to happen. Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep. And now we just run all the way back to the top. Still can't use no weapons though. All right, let's see what we're gonna see here. Ha ha ha! You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Now, hold on. It says here 784 days gone. So I guess that's when the shit went down. So it's only been like two and a half years. So, I mean, it's not that long ago. If we're going by that number. Which is kind of weird. But I guess it was a long time. Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. I wonder if all this so, extra uh, water... What's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cabin. She was gonna make Rocky Mountain oysters, but yeah, I wonder if the water's gonna like change up the map a little bit. That would be pretty cool if we could see, you know, like a larger river going through the uh, southern area. Here, boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Yeah, I don't like this. There's a little nest area right here. Little nest, uh, tree limbs and whatnot. 
Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. I'm glad we got the shotgun. Little Stubby's gonna come in handy today. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light him up, I knock him down. It's been a while, but I remember. Okay, looks like she's gonna do all the Molotov throwing. Ooh, there's some goodies in here, though. I guess if we are low on ammo and stuff like that. There's an item over here. Burn it down. Where's this one? Where, where is she burning? Up there. Ready. Come on down. Oh, we shot his arm off. That's pretty neat. Missed that guy to save my life. Another Shotgun, not so good on him. All right, where is she at? Oh, ammo. She walks so weird. Reload. Now the shotgun did really well there. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today. Hold on. Apologize about doing this, but uh, it's very dark in here. I'm noticing that. Let's do that right there. I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Part of the people. Never mind. Still too dark. Did I not do it right or something? No, seven. It's okay. Look at this. It's dark, but now it's not dark. Like what the hell? And there's nothing else I can do. Okay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. No, actually, no. You know what? I think it is a little bit brighter. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. What is it with him and pulling out the axe? So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, um, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Man, he's really avoiding the the questions. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did. 
and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Sure it's them. I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Run a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? I say this isn't Iron Mike's territory anymore. They put down. Oh well, here comes the dumbass. Yeah. Well, a All right. You assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? He missed us. Can I kill that person, please? Uh, who's up here? The guy just showed up out of nowhere. Your asses back to Iron Butte. Find the shithole you crawled out from. Iron Mike has a treat, goddammit. It's not really working. We're from Lost Lake. We have a treat. I like how she's still trying to like talk to him. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? You know, Carlos has a lot of people, though. Alright, let me kind of check their bodies here. It looks like they have, like, a lot of rags and sterilizer on them. How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? And go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice and low down there for you, huh? Deacon really goes crazy for these guys. I guess he's really pissed off that they burnt Boozer's arm. Oh, where is he? Oh, this guy. I think that's the last of them. Are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Now we have to deal with the drugged up rippers. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I. I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. I hear a horde. Or I hear a lot of freakers. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Man, we're really burning through these little missions right here. Okay, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You wanna hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah. 
really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell, you grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who was talking about it. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Yep, but he's dead now, unfortunately. All right, I guess we're close to where we need to go. Yeah, I think that's where... Uh, that's that uh, camp that where everyone died at. I guess she's done talking. All right, where are we going anyways? Will it tell us? Nope, we just have the right south. Use some NOS here. Oh shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once, and they said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, c cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. I know there's a horde over here. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. So I guess she just wanted to show us that there was a horde there. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. All 
All right, I guess that's it. I guess that's all they're going to talk about, just the Nero helicopters. It kind of makes sense, though. I mean, we've, like, chased after, like, three or four of them. They're bound for other people to see them. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deke, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? And we finished that. How much money do we get? Only 250 bucks. Okay. Now that one wasn't worth it. My first one. All right, but now we're going to stop here today because we're way past our time. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. In the next one, we will go to... Well, we're going to level up. And we're going to go all the way over here to another Nero field research team. Unless someone calls us with more missions. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And I'll see you again in the next one.